Hello everybody, Bobo Swaggins here, and today we're doing Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. This actually came out like a month ago, and I uh, did not see it at all. So, it's what we're doing today. I feel like some of you new viewers might know know that I play other games. Wait, eating sounds, toilet sounds. <laughs> some of you new viewers might not know that I do play other games, more than Isaac. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite horror series, like, in terms of games right now, so I, I'm very excited to finish this, because this... I believe is the last game in the series, so I don't know. The last one was really, really good. This one might be even better. I don't know. I have not even seen a thing about this. I saw it on Steam, and I bought it immediately. I needed to get coffee to get done with the day. Okay. Okay, sure. Yep. It looks like it's night out. I, I feel like it's a little late for coffee, but you know what? It's never too late for coffee. I can drink caffeine whenever. We're in an office setting. It's a little weird out there. The person. All right, I can vibe with it already. Where would a coffee be at? The break room. I don't actually drink coffee IRL, so this is definitely a Keurig, though. I needed to prepare a cup for the coffee. Um, sure. Or it didn't say a cup for the coffee. It just says prepare a cup of coffee. Oh, there we go. Um. Oh, we might need one of these. Put that in. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Do we put it? It needed water. Oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> How do I get water? Oh, no. How do I get water? Uh, hold on. Okay, we're just going to use a plastic cup. Okay. Makes sense. Right? Makes sense. You know, you would use the same amount of water that's going to go in the cup because that's what you do. Right? Because uh, coffee enjoyers over here, we, we drink coffee, of course. Jesus, it's like red. It's in that coffee. Alright. So far, I'm vibing. I needed. To, I don't need to put on the lid. That's not required. Lid? There we go. Alright, we're drinking coffee. We got the eating sounds on, so of course. I wonder when toilet sounds is going to take effect. I needed to use the restroom. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the, where's, the, where's the restroom? Oh, I think I already see it. Jesus, my vision's about as bad as it is IRL. I can barely read that sign. Um, yeah, I'm a guy. Let's head in the air. Um, okay. Maybe, maybe I gotta stop drinking coffee for a second. Hold on. Get out of here. Nope. Whoops. I'm littering. I'm sorry. Okay, I am a lady. Apparently. I, I couldn't tell. I'm, I'm bodiless. Well, I guess I'm going in here. I couldn't do it with the door wide open. Why Why not? I leave my door open. Is that weird? Jeez, I feel like I'm playing Abiotic Factory over here. This is awkward. Because <laughs> if you ever put... That doesn't sound like a lady. I mean, a toilet's a toilet, but you know. Am I about to get jump scared? Please don't do it to me. Oh my god. You did scare me. I will say that. I agree. Hello, sir. Your face almost looks like a JPEG. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. Nah, it's okay. I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Uh, no, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yeah, you gotta respect the janitors, man. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Why is he frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups all over the floor! <laughs> Uh, weird. I, must have been the day crew. I'm sorry. It's been happening for weeks. Well, you know, that's that's really rude. Yeah, I can't believe someone would do that. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. <laughs> Jesus Christ, was that a punishment for throwing the coffee cup on the ground? <laughs> like, ah, jump scare him. Give him a good old jump scare. All right, I guess I'm going back to work. Oh, you can buy a drink. Uh, how nice. Sure, I'll buy a fizz, even though I just drink a coffee. Give me my, give me my drink. 85 cents. That's a weird value. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a phone call. Who calls in the middle of the night in an office complex? There's a lot of people out there. Jeez. No, hold on. I gotta sit down first. Um, go for Sydney Harper. I, hey, Harp, does anybody Mike. ever answer calls like that? What? Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? 
Well, I haven't heard one since I started up this game, so, uh, yeah. My battery dies at the worst oh, times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ah. No, it was cut out even on the client I'm earlier. <laughs> Who's calling um, a co office complex so late at night? Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Uh, just Damn, more overtime, I guess. Rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Sure, um, buddy. About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. God, I don't like this. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you this book guy's tonight, awkward. I think it'll be fine. Hey. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. No. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Why is no not an option? A little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Right. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, yep. Uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora okay. and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight <laughs> hey, budget. No. Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm an asshole. What are we doing here? Oh god. Rainbow sheets. Oh dear. Um, am I doing anything here? Oh god, I can actually click on all of these. I am not to be trusted with this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Type invader. Oh god, we've, we've entered a minigame. Hold on, I'll check it out. What is this? Agree? Oh no. Hold on, why am I doing this? We are we are taking a side quest, boys. Our street. Okay. Listen, I'm not good at these. Like I I can type, but I I'm gonna typo eventually. I'm. I, why am I here? Why am I here? I think there was a. Oh no. I think there was a mini game in all of them, but um, wall captain. I thought that said I am captain for some reason. I what the hell? Yeah, I think there was a mini game in all the games. I think the last one had like a zombie mini game, like Call of Duty Zombies. It was like really weird. I have all the videos up in a playlist, so if you really are curious, you can go look at them. But I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> these are just side quests. I don't even know why they always add these. Open pass triangle. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill this last flame here, last wave, and then I guess we'll just like continue on. Get out of here. Browser search. Feeling unlucky. Um, YouTube. Can I, can I look up? Oh, nope. It, it's typing for me. Oh, okay. Sure. Enter the matrix. Rent a cabin. Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. Woodbury? Oh, dear. That's the name of the thing. So maybe nothing bad's gonna happen yet. Book a cabin. 350 a night. 240 a night. 199? Well, we have to select the... Uh, there's only one. That's sus as hell. Wait, it's got reviews. Hold on, look at this. 11 reviews. It's a, you know, it's a four star. It's a four star. Two stars. Private room in nature. Are these just Gmod maps? <laughs> 34. Hey, it's five stars. We should go there. It's only a hundred extra dollars. I'm sure it's worth. Private cabin in Woodbury. Entire guest house? Dude, the place sucks. Well... What happens if I select this one? It was over our budget. Yeah, well, nah, I guess I have to select this one. Sure. Whatever. Two beds, two bedroom. Shared bathroom. Okay. Print it. Bro, I can't even remember the last time I printed a receipt like this. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. Sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. 
Okay. I, I feel like Mike is going to be like the scapegoat expected like murderer or something going on here. But he's probably not going to be the actual murderer. Is Are you Mike? Is that a PS Vita? Oh, sick, bro. That's freaking radical. Okay. Well, you're apparently not Mike. Um, how do I how do I pick that up? How do, how do I pick that up? I, I forgot my suitcase in the elevator. How do I pick it up? Well, I hung it up on him. Pulling into the garage now. You down? How do I read it? Oh, okay, escape. Oh god, there's a lot of messages. Thanks for booking my property. Looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming it's 3 p.m., right? Yeah, that's correct. 5176 is the code. 5176. I, I'll try to commit it to memory, but I think we can just open this again. Oh, that's a lot of text messages. Let's get in the car first, because if I recall, there's always, like, a, a driving segment in these games. Harp. Hug. Yes, Mike. You. You're, you're Mike, right? That's still how you hug people. What? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Uh, just a test hug to see if you smelled first. <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yep. You look good. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have a company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright. Your thing. Don't hug me again. That was awkward. Nothing wrong with a little, uh, little, little hugging with the bros, but I don't know about that. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right, then, Harp. Okay. Guess I'll get in your, uh, shitty F-150. Why not? Can I read the text messages in the car? 4.26 p.m., are we late to our appointment? Or are we already here? We're late to our appointment. Or to meet up. I don't know. Does it matter? It was starting to snow. It's gonna be a snowy one. Okay. We got a bobblehead. This was actually a gift from my co-worker, Ricky. That he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow? Okay. I could see a little bit of the resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Oh yeah, for sure. That totally looks like you, dude. Can we read the text messages? Yeah, we can. Friends three ever. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Okay, I was reading that. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now we're here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. You know, it is kind of true, though. You know, you're so excited to, like, get out into the real world, and then it's just kind of a boring slog most of the time. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know sucks sometimes. I feel like it doesn't suck, but it can be a little boring. But, you know, you can do whatever you really want to do. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Okay, another text message. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting-edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? <laughs> nope. Yeah, it's, it's a bus. I mean, that's pretty normal where I live. I mean, I feel like smaller towns simply have a bus at somebody's house. Did you see that school bus? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. I know, typically the school bus driver leaves the school bus at his house in smaller towns. I mean, that's literally how it works. Okay, well, uh, we have a text message from this one. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in. We're on our way and should be there. Oh, I should have probably confirmed. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Uh, can I see the other messages? Oh, okay. I, I am not able to read these messages, man. You gotta slow down, man. There's deer in this area. That was close. You know? I read on the internet that the Native American lore seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. 
Well, it happens pretty much like once a month for me, so I guess I'm getting messages from the universe often. I can just see now a birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. Mikey. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd I know other than Baxter. He would totally do that. This is so cute. Oh my god, let me read! How far is it now? Are we even close? Um... It'll be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the he headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Yeah, I got that as a kid. I actually thought of that exactly. Um, can I? Okay. We will stop once we're out of the car. <laughs> I will stop and read these. Okay, never mind. We're, we're just fast forwarding. Okay. I am just trying to read the text messages. I, I feel like a lot of the times the, um, the text messages actually relate entirely to the story. So like... It'll be like the killer or something like that, but maybe he'll throw a curveball this time. I don't know. Okay. It's a little snowy now. For sure. I'd be driving a lot slower on this road. Yo, Harp, check that out. Check out what? Gas station, pizza, pizza, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're getting pizza now. Okay. We're, we're late to the appointment, by the way. We I don't know if we should be stopping for pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, he always says, he starts with, you know. These new GPS systems are something else. That pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. <laughs> yeah, it's called Google Maps, dude. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Yeah, you know, I would say this is like taking place in the past. You know, like, it's pretty old. But he was talking about machine learning. So I'm like, no, this is like Google Maps era. These veggie? Wait, what are the size of these pizzas? Okay, I'll come on in. Thank you. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Is is that queso? Stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field. <laughs> There's no there? way. Oh my god, that's awesome. Hello. Evening folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? Well, I'll take two number fives. No, uh, we'll take three slices each. I'll go with the pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. All right. And for you, miss, um, I don't know. Let's let's go most special. All right, what's your second slice? Uh, okay, what if I just wanted one slice? Um, I don't know, cheese and a margarita. Any drinks for you folks? Are you Mo? Uh, oh, there's, I didn't see the, like, three points there to select uh that should cover it's just the pizza today thanks all right then six hot slices coming right up that'll be 2250 i guess that's not too bad i don't know maybe it, it depends on the area you go to new york city it's fucking overpriced to hell your order number is 27 just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready now, I just want to say smaller pizza joints like this, they're just going to ask for a name or they'll just like point you out exactly. There's like four groups in here right now. No, there's like two, there's three groups. They could just point you out and be like, hey, your pizza's ready. Hello. Long sniff as opposed to a normal sniff. It smells so good in here. Long sniff. Bro, he's getting ready for a hike. Look at him. He's got the bags. Voice message? Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm That's not, not good. With all of the, details. the long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay. The Nora's not going to be here. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Is he listening to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. Guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Order number 27. You folks are right here. What's the point of even giving us an order number? You can just point us out. 
Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, okay. I'll take my pizza. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Yep, those are pizzas, all right. Take a little bit of the margarita here. I don't like the eating noises. Oh, damn, this pizza slaps. <laughs> Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. Oh, gourd. Oh, my God. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll eat all the pizza. I mean, it looks okay for nearly flat pizza. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? Oh, don't be like that. Come on. We're better than that. Eat the damn crust. It's kind of wasteful not to. It tastes fine, too. I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? That is not equivalent. That is not equivalent. That's insanity. The crust can be good, too. It can be seasoned. Listen, if the crust doesn't taste good, that means the whole crust of the pizza is bad. Oh, well, oh, hello. We are eating right here. Hello there. I saw y'all pulling the driving, that nice old truck. Um, that's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Oh, great. Seems like we might have gotten in, going in the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Well, where are you headed? I, wh why would you ask where's his car? He's probably been hitchhiking the entire time. Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventure. Just thinking, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. I respect it, but it's a little weird to come up to us while we're in, still in the middle of eating. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. It's his call. It's his truck. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. Yeah, like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, that's not my call. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Well, now you're not getting a ride, motherfucker. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. What the fuck, dude? It's not my car! <laughs> no, no, no. You got me wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired and all. Yeah, thanks. What the fuck? What a dickhead, man. Well, that was weird. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for him, though. I mean, after all these years, you're still that same old harp. Sure. Fucking dickhead. It's, it's like, come on, man. It's not my car. I can't give you... I, I can't tell you if you can get in the car or not. Why didn't he say anything? Come on, Mike. All right, we're just gobbling down this pizza. We're just... We're scarfing it down. I have no idea what most special was, by the way, but man... I ate it down all the same. Oh, I can burp. Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Is this man leaving his crust? Oh, it's he's already gone. I wanted to see if he was leaving his crust. You know he was. Oh, okay, we're very close. Okay. Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. <laughs> Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me. <laughs> You'll be afraid if you don't give me the case. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Uh, whatever. I just want to drive. It sounds fun. Hello, gentlemen. How's your day going? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney, we're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. I'm sorry. I don't want to be an asshole. All right, well, give me a, get in the truck. Get in the truck. That hitchhiker was an asshole, man. What the hell was his issue? Come on, man. It's not my fucking truck. I can't tell you if you can get in the truck or not. Are we good? The game is not continued. Oh, God. Oh, no, we're, we're good. Okay, it was just a dramatic silence. Good evening, Vermont. I can this drive. Let's go, baby. KWB. Yeah. Bringing you the best tunes oh God, I can actually fully drive Detroit off the road. As we embrace um, the first snowfall of the season. How's it going, Mike? Nothing like a perfect. We should be getting a like, um, so Are we good? You, you remember the addresses? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Okay. Cool. Stay tuned. 
Well, I mean, this is fine. Everything's good. God. We can get kind of fast. This probably isn't safe. I hope that's not uh, content ID'd. I, I hope that's not content ID'd, but I think it's fine. I remember this from the last game. I'm pretty sure it's fine. If it is, well, uh oh. <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Woodbury. Okay. Um, it's getting kind of hard to see the road, I'm going to be honest. How are there so many people out here? Like, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is not realistic. Slow. What if I don't? Why do I hear music? Hold on. Why is there a horror, like, tune right now? Okay, random playground. Okay. That was weird. Turn the music back on. I don't know why there was a random, like, horror tune. Alright, I mean, it looks like an average small town. Jesus Christ, my driving is awful. I'm, like, hitting the side constantly. Well, I mean, so far so good. I don't know how I'm going to find the house because I really can't read the numbers. There's no numbers. 241. Gas station. Jesus gets sets free. I thought said <laughs> Jesus gets free. Like free? Like he just gets everything for free? I don't know. Listen, there's some wacky signs you see in like rural or hot, uh, sorry, rural like anywhere. Um, stop sign? I drove past our cabin at first. Okay. Where are we going? Left or right? I don't know. I drove past our cabin at first. Is he here? Where the hell is it? Hold on. We're turning this around. I don't see shit that way. Hold on. Kick it back in. Why is the car beeping when we're reversing? Do do trucks do that? I don't have a truck. I'm sorry. No, they don't do that. They definitely don't do that. Why is it beeping like that? This is not a forklift. Is that our cabin? I mean, that house looks a little bit more detailed, right? Is this our cabin? Hey, it is! There we go. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. Well, you know, I, I didn't know where it was at. Are, are we here? And this should be it. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shut, shut up. Where, where am I parking? Hey, stop! Art, did you get your license from a cereal box? Fuck off! Get me out of here! I should have just let Mike drive! Oh my god! I'm sorry! Mike! This doesn't usually happen. We're here! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Oh god! Are we getting out of what? Yes! Oh my god! I'm sorry, Mike. Hold on, hold on. It, it'll... It'll buff out. It'll buff out. It'll buff out. It's fine. Oh, hold on. I gotta grab my stuff, too. Jesus. We... Uh, hello, officer. Fancy seeing you here. Cool. Well, I mean, it looks like a normal town. I mean... This doesn't look like a murderer's shack or something. Um... What was it? Slide to open. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, there we go. What was it? 5176? 5176. Um. Hey! There we go. Nice. Yeah! We're in! Let's go in. I really need to... Well, let's just hurry up, Harp. Okay, you're really fucking weird, dude. Alright. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. Well, I'm gone. Can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Okay. House was cozy and well furnished. What? Groceries? These? Okay. 
Should be fine. Um, I had to open the cooler first. What? What do you mean you had to open the cooler first? What? Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I feel like a dummy now. Milk. 100% natural. As opposed to fake milk. Peak Farms Bell Peppers. Why did we buy bell peppers? And we oranges. And yogurt. And lettuce. We have milk. Peppers. Eggs. Yogurt. What the fuck are we making? Hello. Welcome back. It's it's all in. Ooh, sorry about that, Arp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Yeah, I, I guess. You're no, no problem. Anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Uh, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Yeah, sure. Tea bags, milk, mayonnaise. Okay. Got an Airbnb going on here. Home cooking. Alright. So, uh, it's not really a creepy house, per se. I would consider it pretty average. Let's explore a little bit. Oh, it got creepy. Alright, check the basement for your monsters. Hello? Any light switches? There we go. Still dark as hell down here. What is that? This is just random forms. I don't know. Oh, did he tell me to do something? I hope he didn't. What is this? No access to guest. I couldn't open the door. That's not a good sign. Yep, that's a... That's a solid bad sign. What? Oh, sorry. It was this mechanic. This was in the first game. Yeah, it scared the hell out of me the first time it happened, I think. I was like, why did it open? We got a crossword. Okay. Weird... TV room? You're sitting way too close to the TV if you're watching TV from here. Sure? Anybody out there? No? At a fireplace? I... Where did he go? I don't know. He went upstairs? Sir? I had to pee. Oh, I have to pee apparently. Whoops. <laughs> I guess I'll uh, head in here. No monsters, right? I don't like that. Well, guess I'll, uh, not check everything. Text Rick. Hey, I've checked in. Cool. Guess, um, just sit here. You should not use your phone when you're on the toilet. That's gross. Listen, particles get on your phone. It's nasty. Don't do that. I have to admit, or I hate to admit it. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. I was reading the text down there. I didn't see him coming up to me. You feeling better after the drive? Uh, yeah, I was fine anyways. I'm good. I want to check out the house. Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. You gonna follow me? Yep. Well, let's check out the scary basement because maybe you have dialogue or something. I don't know. No access to guests is so sus. I swear. I mean, like, yeah, it would be normal and... Maybe like a real air at BNB. I guess I've never had one, but a totally normal basement. This place totally reminds me of your college dorm. <laughs> what? If your dorm looked like this, you got problems going on. Are you sure I don't smell the long beach cush in here? The kush kush. The devil's lettuce. Well, it's normal. Fairly normal. Record player. Normal pots and stuff. Random lady. Living room is bigger than my apartment. That's sad. Feel bad for you. Got anything to say about this random ass room? Nope. Okay. Uh, thought he was about to trap me in there. I was a little worried. Well, nothing weird going on yet. Okay, so let's head upstairs. We got a storage closet. Pretty par for the course. The bedroom. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ! Why are you in here? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? I would punch you in the face. I'm sorry. Like, 
<laughs> you can't do that. Oh, hey, you're here. Uh, who are you? Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, we're, we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I, I just said we're not a couple, man. Come on, chill out. I was answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement. You never, what? Well, never mind. Oopsie days, you silly me. I didn't mean to cause a stare with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try and get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Oh, this guy's a fucking creep. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give the grand tour. Alright. Oh, God. That was a good jump scare, though. I I was looking at the TV when I came in. I was not ready for that. Host was a middle-aged... Oh, well, dialogue's going by too quick. Here's a shower, little... That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall and in the Amazon jungle. But you're telling me it has shitty pressure. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. What does that say? Singer Invader from Space reveals truth about nut allergies. Okay. <laughs> Look, Carp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Uh, view might be an overstatement. Deck? Oh, we do actually have a back deck. Okay, cool. Holy smokes, this is incredible. It's incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, folks. Let's head back in before I catch cold here again. Fishing? Oh, he's talking about the creek. Never mind. I thought he was going to fish from the deck. I was like, how the hell are you fishing from this deck? Turn off this TV. Get out of here. Here's the storage room. This is where I store your bodies when I kill you later. If you need anything, toes, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my... Right, storms like these, you know, you never know. Eh, we, we might not need it. Trust me, it's always best to know where your light is. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. Okay. Yep, this is weird. It's kind of weird to hide in your Airbnb and then, you know, jump scare your guest. It's, uh, it's a weird choice. It's definitely a weird, weird choice. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Was he stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. Yeah, I've used the fridge before. Thanks. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. From your fridge? Speaking of winter, I better show you the folks the water heater. Okay. I... How the fuck is your... Oh, I grabbed the milk. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I grabbed the milk. I'm sorry. I got bad hands. I got feet for hands. Uh, anyways, though, if, if your fridge is, like, significantly raising your power bill, I think you have problems. That's weird. I don't like how he just stopped there and looked at that. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay. Gotta say, I don't think I've ever had my water heater just stop working. Like, I had to hit a button or something. Hey sir, what's the deal with the room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use the space man storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I, I was just curious. 
<laughs> I'm giving Mike more of a normal voice because at this point, he, this guy's too fucking weird in comparison, okay? Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests I reported hearing voices at night said they could hear something shuffling around down there. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I really wouldn't step down here. <laughs> God, he's too close. He's too close to the camera. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't like this guy. He's a fucking freak. I bet he's a... I bet it's a fake out though. This guy isn't actually like the murderer. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Ugh. By, by the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. That's weird. That's weird. Ha! Sydney. That's, that's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. So, this is not Rick. He never said his name. It's not Rick. Is it just me or was that dude? No, you, you, dude. I, I don't think. I don't even think he needs to say it. Like, if I was with my friend right now, I'd be like, "We're get, we're leaving. We're going somewhere else. This is fucking weird." Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Go cool, off, find something to watch while you're here in, in there. Okay, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in the bit. <laughs> Okay, any, like, clues as to what's going on here? Any clues? It's a normal... Random map. BB? Okay. Shower? That is a shower. Do I have clothes? Okay. Shower door was open. Oh, well, that, I'm, I'm assuming my clothes are still on, too. So, that's a little weird. Okay. Well, you know, maybe we're in a swimsuit. I, I don't know. Maybe that's why it's so cold out. The tap didn't work. Yep, he did say that. Um... I heard a door. Why you got a fishing rod? Hey, Harp, check it out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mention it, that would be a pretty epic attic. Oh, sorry, addition. I thought it said adaptation. <laughs> addition to the trip. Uh, I don't know. It's cold out there. I mean, come on. Like, you're probably not going to catch anything. Like, implying the water is still flowing. I mean, a creek? There's a good chance it's probably frozen up. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. Okay. I just took a shower, by the way. I really don't want to go out while it's cold. Like, I don't know if all of you live in snowy areas, but you take a shower and you walk out when it's snowy out like this? Bro, I, no. I'm going back in. There, I'm not go. <laughs> I'm not staying out here, dude. I don't care. You want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second, you fuck. Damn. Where's it at? Oh. Okay, bait. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. Yes, we'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Sure. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. <laughs> don't don't make runs with my name. Um Bait and fish pairing knowledge. Crank bait. Frozen prawns. Okay. Sweet corn. I mean, we'll probably just use corn. Yeah, we'll probably just use corn. Or cheese delight. Um. Corn. Okay. <laughs> what is that Stardew? Da <laughs> That's like a Stardew Valley sprite up there. Okay. Well, this is weird. 
sounds like a bit more than a creek. Uh, that's a that's a pretty big creek, man. That's a small river. That that's a small river. We are not sitting out here, dude. Come on. I hope those carp are biting today. Okay. We're doing this. Sure. Is it gonna like go down? I'm assuming basic fishing mini game. Oh oh why oh okay 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 I see okay. We figured it out. We got it. We got a common carp. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Well, there's a lot of fish in the water, dude. So, yeah, probably. I don't know if you ever gone fishing before, but that's typically how it works. Well, this is awkward. Can I talk to you? One carp down, two more to go. Is that the guy with the... Is that the hiker over there? Look at his backpack. Aw, oh, hell no. He has a, He even had the little thing on top of his backpack. It was like a bed... Like, I don't know, a bed roll? I'm not even sure. Well, we don't want a bluegill. Give me carp. Yeah, that's definitely weird. Definitely weird that that guy's in the background. We just gotta give it the tap fire here. Common carp, awesome. Woohoo, just one more cop left. You got this. And why are you not catching anything, you fuck? Come on. This is awkward. <laughs> what a strange minigame. I, I don't want that. Give me my carp. I want to make uh, whatever we're making. Roasted carp. <laughs> Come on. I really don't want to talk to this dude. This dude seems like a... Uh, listen, everybody here is weird. I don't like this. If I was a lady right now, I'd be gone. If I was a dude, I'd be gone. It has nothing to do with gender at this point. This is just fucking weird. Like, hanging out with the bros and, you know, fishing, cool. It's snowing out. It's snowing out. There's a creepy old man. This guy's weird about, I don't know, his crush on this lady. I, I don't know, man. I don't like this. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm an introvert. What can I say? All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back in or... Throw in these, uh, throw these in for the oven? Sure, sure, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. I don't, I don't want to do this fishing game anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, this was weird. Strange little mini game. Anything weird going on? Why is the... Why is there, like, horror ambience? Why is there horror ambience? Weird. Okay. A little strange. Is something gonna be off about the house now? Probably. We were out there pretty long. Well, I'm just making a mess of this place. Uh, while I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in some ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, and paprika, and yogurt. Okay. Was that open before? Where's the milk? What happened to the milk? Uh oh. I I put the milk back in there because it wasn't in my inventory. That's a little weird. Uh, where's the yogurt? Yogurt. 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 Let's go, baby. Uh, olive oil, black pepper, that's salt. Paprika, paprika, garlic, Italian seasoning, well that needs to go in there too. Paprika, ginger garlic paste, was this the, oh, okay it is the garlic paste. Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, what the hell is olive oil? Oh god. I feel like I am actually in somebody's house right now. Can you see the olive oil anywhere, man? Hold your horses, that fish will be right out. Okay, calm down. I'm sorry, I was just looking for olive oil. 
Uh, well, we also need to put salt in there. Okay, I'm gonna spam click now. Because I don't know where the olive oil is. Olive oil? Hold your horses, that fish will be right out! Olive oil. Olive oil? Olive oil! Hey, let's go, baby! We got the marinade! My hands were full. Oh god, I'm dropping it. You mind throwing the fish in the marinade and the casserole while I chop these veggies? Uh, sure. Whatever. Uh. 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 I had to add the fish first. Okay. I see what we're doing now. Cool. Okay, just two. What about that? What about the third one? Now, could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Okay, I didn't realize we were we were actually doing cooking here. Um, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. 30 minutes. Don't burn it. Those carp are going to taste amazing. I, I... Are they? We didn't do anything to them. Yet. What are we going to do with them? While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. I, I guess we could, yeah. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. You said that already. Thank you. Oh, well. Um, excuse me. Sorry. A lot of stuff in the way. Anything weird going on? No jump scares, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we have Jenga. We have Whispers in the Dark, which I'm not sure what that's actually supposed to be. We have an Ouija board. Mega Rounds? What the hell is Mega Rounds? The Legos? We got Monopoly. We got... Something? Dragon's Labyrinth? We got Snakes and Ladders. Uh, I'm not even sure what that is. Okay. Oh, we also have Chess. Now, I can play chess. We can do a little bit of chess gaming right now. Are, are you going to come out here? Like, where, where are we doing this? I don't know. Maybe something with a bit more suspense? What? You said I could pick anything! Motherfucker! Whatever. Fine. You want this? It was glowing bright blue. So I'm assuming... Hey, player, pick this. Fine, I'll play Jenga. Whatever. You're so boring, dude. Oh, yeah, tower stack. Nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I played this. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I wanted to play freaking chess. Fine, let's play fucking Jenga. Whenever you're ready, Harp. Okay, well, we're gonna do the age-old method here. We're gonna take from the bottom, and we're gonna draw out the middle ones. Draw a loop. Oh, what? That's not even- that would never happen! That would never happen! Well, it looks like our tower had a free fall moment. How about one more? <laughs> how about another one? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, we gotta be more careful. You're an asshole. Smooth moves, hype. Okay, we can actually lean around. Why am I just playing Jenga right now? Boom! Another perfect move by yours truly. Sure. Um, let's grab... I mean, are, are we still abiding by physics here? I'm gonna take this one. Oh my god, what is this? Because if I go slightly out, it yelled at me. And then it collapsed. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Too easy, right? Sure? I'm winning this one. Fucking idiot! Ah, you already messed up! Come on, man! There was a million easy ones to pick from! You're a fuck- you're a loser! Nah, I'm just joking. It's just- it's just a game. It's just a game. It's just a game. Just like the old days, I'm still terrible at this! What do you mean? It's Jenga! No, I- I think that's enough. Listen, I- I love Jenga, but like, I- Listen, we're not playing like, 50 rounds of Jenga in a row. That was a fun game, Harp. You did really well. Thanks, Mike. Alright, the carp should be just about done. Let's- we played 30 minutes of Jenga? <laughs> we- what? We did not play 30 minutes of Jenga. 
That was real time. Like, no. That was maybe a max of five minutes. What the fuck happened to those fish? Okay, you're really close again. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. What show? I had to grab a plate. Are we, like, gonna skin the fish or anything? Because pretty sure I just threw them in there. I mean, they look a little weird now. It kind of looks awful, I'm gonna be honest. It, it, it kind of looks terrible. I mean, we plated it really well. Are you, are you gonna turn on the... You gonna turn on TV? You gonna... Do I have to do it? Sorry. Flows oh down god, the not this thing again. Like a water <laughs> I like how he only started eating once the so TV was on. First, we are gonna prepare oh god, we're really berries. just eating this, aren't we? Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is salt. good for the bones. It's good for the bones. These simmer in the salt bath. We can start making the chocolate. Take chocolate? a couple what? cocoa beans. Uh, yes, what are, what are we doing to this asparagus? To be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Got to keep that. We're not making chocolate covered asparagus. In there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. What? We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not Wait, gonna lie. Tofu? This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> this is gonna no, taste like shit. Here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking <laughs> instructions. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. The brain we, of we the mayonnaise. Injected with. A little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets I was done very with it. Angry once it knows Harp, that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. The in it tray. was alright. You don't have to rain on my parade, Harp. It was, it was most pizza, but I thought it turned out it, it turned out well. I'm sorry. Hey, anyways, um, I need to catch my emails real quick. That's my laptop upstairs. I were taking now, a break from work. It's not work. Hard. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Cooks. What it year is it? <laughs> I'll be right back. What All right, I'll, I'll clean up here. Is Whatever. I don't mind. Gasoline and what? Ramen. Get, get out of here. No, no. This is like modern day brain rot, but like on TV. All right, I guess I'll clean this up. It's a fucking mess. If there's gonna be like a killer that busts in here, he's just gonna fucking trip over everything. I had to get the plates. I have them. What am I doing with them? Oh, okay. Dishwashing. Sure. I hope that was him. I mean, you gotta use the sponge. You can't just, you can't just rinse it. You got you gotta you gotta get the stuff off of it too. Okay. Sure. Anybody out there? No. At least not that I know of. Anybody? Michael J. Carter. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? What? If there's someone under your bed I don't know, beat his ass? Oh hell no. Why is the door closed? Don't make sounds, walk slow. Okay, well, I have a keyboard. I will walk as slow as I physically can. No, I'm good. Goodbye. <laughs> Where's Mike? If you're making a prank right now, that's fucked up, dude. Whatever, I'm gonna brace for it. I'm bad with jump scares because they always get me no matter what. Do it. <laughs> you motherfucker. I swear to God, I'm I'm going to fucking punch you in the face, Mike. You're lucky I didn't break your damn nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? No, Mike, what the fuck, dude? Like, there was the creepy-ass old man here earlier, and you're just like, Oh, I'm gonna scare her. There's someone under my bed. It's not cool, dude. Get the hell out of here. That's not funny. Come on, it was just a joke. Nah, you're not- That's not funny, bro. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide-and-seek? Fine, whatever. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. 
Fuck you, bitch. I'm going as fast as I can. I decided to hide in the basement. This is a bad idea. Why are we doing this right now? Oh god, we're gonna hear a sound, aren't we? I decided to hide in the nook underneath the stairs. I got you! <laughs> uh, my, I was really trying to make the mic, like, make any sound. I guess that's just the ambient noise to it. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. What if I don't, motherfucker? What if I don't? Uh, fine, whatever. Oh, I have to. Fine, one... Two, uh, one, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, uh, three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. Five, Mississippi. Six, Mississippi. Seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, ten, ten. Bro, hasn't even hidden yet. There's no way. Bet it's right here. Oh, okay. I really think that's gonna end up being a spot or something. Um... He has to be in the house, right? Like, if you go outside the house, I feel like that's breaking the rules of hide-and-seek. Unless, like, you agree to it. If you don't agree to it, you're breaking the rules. He's in here, because the door's closed. Oh, he's right. If that's not him, I will fucking actually yell. Got you! Hang on, Harp, I think I heard something upstairs. You're gonna try for this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't. I swear in my life I heard something. I see the attic access door in here. What, you wanna do this? Oh, what? I couldn't reach it without a step stool? Well, what, what the hell? Step stool? Oh, right here. Aw, oh, hell no. You get up here, motherfucker! What are you doing? No! Get up here! Aw, oh, why is it endless jump scares? Stop! Okay, it's a cat. Never mind, we're good. Hello, cat! You can pet the cat, that's very important. Hello, cat. Concerning that there's a bed up here. And rags. That's not good. That's not a good angle either. We're being watched. Well, is he gonna come downstairs with us? Maybe, perhaps. Perchance. Alright. Well, I think it's fucked up that he didn't come up here with us because I'm gonna be real honest, that's a dick move. Sydney, are you okay? What happened? What was up there? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I was too scared to come up there with you, Sydney. It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a reef leaf. I, I was worried for there for a minute, and you're just gonna, like, not come up there with me? Like, two. If there's a guy up there, like a murderer, you're just like, nah. I'll let, I'll let her deal with it. I think she was hungry. No, oh, yeah, maybe we can give her one of the. 
carp after I uh, come find you again. Okay. Oh, my God. Where am I going to hide? Because you chose for me last time. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. I think this is breaking the rules because... Listen, you got to agree to it beforehand. All right, let's go. This is a dumb fucking idea. This is a dumb fucking idea. All right, well, this is a dumb hiding spot. Is he coming? Weird. Is he coming? Oh, there he is. But well, we don't have the mic this time, so I guess I can just talk, but like... Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Wait, what? Did I just see something? Did I just see a person? In there? Hey, yo? Mike? There you are! Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is doing well. My turn. Close to his eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyways. You find me and we'll go to bed. There's somebody in the house. I mean, I feel like there's somebody in the house the entire time, you know? But now we're in danger. I bet it was whoever was locked in the basement. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. He's hiding. My bad. This is bad. This is bad. One Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four five six seven eight nine ten. All right, I'm coming. Are you dead? I feel like you're dead this time. Then again, most of these stories so far, it doesn't lead to death unless you go into like a bad end. This. As far as I'm aware, these are based on, like, real, like, stories given to the guy. There's a sound? Oh my god! <laughs> the character was more scared than I was! I was just like, hey, it's the dude. What's going on? What happened? Whoa, hey there! <laughs> Why the hell are you in here again? I'm fixing the Vasa. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. And I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Yeah, I have fixed faucets. I don't know why you would use a hammer. Maybe a set of pliers to, like, tighten it, but no. Didn't think so. So, I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'd need. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you, I'll get this sink fixed for you real soon. Looks like we need to go to bed now. Maybe... Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We're... We're... We rented this house, and we would like to have it to ourselves. I... Don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. <laughs> Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. No, I, I actually saw one go by earlier. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave ya to it. I don't know why I gave him like a high-pitched voice. Like a nasally high-pitched voice. <laughs> Mike, dude, you're not threatening, bro. Okay. <laughs> Random cutaway. Okay, whatever. What time are we skipping to? This is a really awkward, like, period of time. Because I'm assuming it's going to pop up again with the, you know, 
Yeah. After locking the door, we debated what to do. I wonder if that's a loading screen. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. That's just a common, like, landlord. <laughs> In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. All right. We're cutting ahead. What? What's going on out there? What, Mike? I know it's going to be Mike. Art, you still wait? I don't like that, like, silhouette, though. It's, like, really dark at first, and the face, like, actually comes into view. Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Fine. Whatever, dude. What? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can see that. I can see the truck in the driveway. Um... I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Uh, what? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Yeah, except when you want to enter a, a, the fucking attic. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. Been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I rented the house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. Eh, sure, whatever. I'm frustrated too. There's no need to be a dick here. Um, It'll help if we both get some sleep. What are you doing? Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Me? No. No? Alright, I'll go to the other room. Leaving me already, Sydney? Yep. Oh, that's a scary ass room. <laughs> okay, it looks like I have to go sit by him. Jesus, this house is dark. Fine, I'll sit by you. What the fuck do you want, Mike? I mean, I know what you want. Harp, you know. I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Uh, you just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. <laughs> Fucking on Nora. The side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it's a Kent Pond. The what? snow is like half of a deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Uh, yeah, it's probably what? Okay, probably a good idea. What timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Cindy. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. No, let me come with you, please. I don't want to be in this house by myself. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful, I guess. I really don't want to be here by myself. Why? Why? Why, why would you do this? 
we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Blech. How'd the car move? Well, that's great. Can I lock the door, please? There's a lock. I see it. Turn the knob. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Why the fuck would he not lock the front door? He has the keys. He just left it open? Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry. I've driven him worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. Sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. Uh, not right now, Mike. Come on. Sweet dreams. Kiss some sleep, Sydney. Uh, yep, drive safe. Goodbye. Don't come back. Actually, please come back. You seem like you're probably not a murderer. Did I lock the door? Uh, lock the door? I I'm gonna assume the door's locked. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I'm gonna go to sleep. There we go. We're slumped. Well, this is bad. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. That's good. That's great. Why are we getting up now? Oh, God. What the hell? Someone was at the front door. Oh, my Atlanta. Oh, no. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no! Hello. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a car ride from some friends, but they were running behind and won't be here for about two or more hours. Y you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you were, you'd be as big of a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I knew that was him. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around. This is such a lie. I saw a cop pass by. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out there either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Leave? I didn't feel safe opening the door. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Bro followed us here. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. What the fuck? Couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Insane that you could even sleep in a situation like this. Okay, yeah, go to sleep. Well, sure, it's fine. What? What was that? Are, are we gonna get up? What the hell was that? At this point, I, I had no choice but to call for help. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met that he's gonna say I've ne I was never there. What do you mean, come back? 
He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty sure I can hear him moving outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? He's gonna be like, what are you talking about? I, I was never there. I don't even live close. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is there a murderer in the house now? Is there a murderer in the house? Is there a murderer in the house? Hello? What? Oh god, he's actually here. It had to be a coincidence. Open the door, miss! It's me! Oh, okay. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank god you're here. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could eat. Oh my god. He's not Rick. Bro, this guy is not Rick. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did you shoot him? By the way, where's your friend? The guy I was with you earlier. Mike? He should be back soon. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Ah, uh, <laughs> bye. I'm leaving. Goodbye. What are you doing? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. What the fuck? Come back over, what do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the rental in years. In weeks. I mean, everything okay, miss? Yeah. Everything's great. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? If I say you are not Rick, does he kill me? The confrontation inside me wants to say that, but he's obviously insane. I mean, look at his eyes. It's my friends. They're almost there. So we can play dumb. Or we call him out on it. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! He got put on a hammer! Okay. Are we alive? We died. We died? We don't start from- okay. Rick. Okay. Um, we play dumb. We play dumb, he kills us. He kills us otherwise. We cannot- we cannot- we cannot confront him. I don't think we could run away. Open the door, miss. I- I told you when it wasn't gonna be him! Come on, man! This is Horror 101! Rick, I'm glad you came. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't worry about that guy anymore. Yeah, 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 whatever. I- I killed him. Because I'm a psycho. I'm a fucking crazy psycho, dude. I knew this was going to happen. I mean, come on, man. This guy never said he was Rick. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was here with you. He should be back soon. Yeah, he's going to be back soon. This isn't good. Not good. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Yes, sir. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? My friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? 
yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. Who are you? What did you just say? This is my fucking house. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house, it will be one of us. All right, goodbye. Fucking hell. God damn it, man. This motherfucker. You suck ass, man. Hiding in the basement. Okay. Good. We have a checkpoint. God damn it, man. I have to be quiet, too. That's the worst part. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have to be quiet again immediately. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Fuck you. You suck. You suck, man. That's so loud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we gotta be quiet. We gotta be quiet. We're not gonna talk again. He's locked the doors! He blocked the doors! <laughs> oh my god! No. What are you talking about? You don't even know I'm in there! What was I supposed to do? He's just chilling down there! Was I supposed to go in the attic? You suck. You suck- I'm in the basement? <gasps> yeah. Oh my god! I got stuck! Good thing he saw his shit! 
Old man! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Is he in here? What do I do? Bro, this guy's fucking crazy. Just get into the goddamn house. Right, instead I. Where do I go? This doesn't make sh What the fuck, man? Deck. Jump it. Jump it. Jump it! I'm going to die. Mm. So I looked it up, and we have to have freaking go into the attic, which I did, and then at some point, something else is supposed to trigger. I don't know. I don't... So, do I go up once he's alerted? I don't know. I put it... Mm. Mm. Oh, let me up. Jesus Christ. Where am I? Let me out of here! Where's the exit, Nora? Okay, I'm in the attic. What? I don't understand. I don't... I, I don't get it. I don't... I don't get it. I was told to go into the attic. I was told to go into the attic. I was told to go into the attic. Where is the exit, Nora? 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 Mike? 
Mike! Mike! What do I do? What do I do, man? What do I do? If I go down there, he's gonna kill me. Yeah? What? Open the door, Are you alright? Help! Is he gone? Is he gone? What the fuck was this shit, man? Oh my god, that had to be the most frustrating end ever. What the hell? It just seemed like that wasn't, like, supposed to happen. Get me to the fucking door! Jesus Christ. Oh my god, you kicked the door down? Holy fuck! Mike, where the hell was that? What the hell, man? Okay. Wow. Um, I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. He lived in the attic, though. It was pretty obvious. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Um... Well, that was fun, other than the ending segment there, where I had no idea what I was doing. But cool, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. That was the last one, apparently. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any more in the future, but in terms of Fears to Fathom, there, there was apparently only five episodes, so that's it. That's it, boys. Also, look, there's the non-existent cops. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure the hiker dude died. That's cool. That's sick. Well, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Honestly, I liked that episode, but I don't think I liked it the most out of all of them, to be honest. Um, Iron Bark was probably the best. I mean, I think it's a. I think that's a no contest. Iron Bark was simply just like way too much of like almost an independent game from everything else. I liked it. This one wasn't bad as well, but it reminded me more of like Home Alone, which was the first one, which was a, a lot shorter too. But, still fun. Pretty scary throughout it. I feel like this one didn't have so much of an eerie feeling. It was more predictable, but that's okay, too. But, yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed that one. If you guys want to see more content like that, let me know. I do do a variety of horror games as well, or at least I have. Recently, we've just been doing Isaac because, I don't know, we're on the Isaac train. But, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one.